How's it going guys? Alright guys, new video today, new car information video. Alright, it's so hot out guys, I'm gonna quickly go wash my car for this video. It's gonna rain tonight so I think I'm just gonna give it a light, try to get all the dust off and stuff. But, I'll see you in a second. Oh, the door's about to close. The door's gonna close! Close call, close call. Alright guys, so hopefully that intro wasn't too cringy. It probably, it probably was really cringy, but yeah, life goes on. But for real, today we're gonna be talking about five things I hate. I despise about my Civic Si. No, but for real, I actually do love this car. I don't actually hate anything. If you hate your car, if you hate everything about your car, then don't buy your car. I said that in my last video. But let's get on with it. All right, so listen to film spot. I hope it's not too bad because I noticed there's lots of traffic right there on the highway. But all right. So if you guys aren't aware, this is my 2008, 2000, or 2009. I don't even know. 2009 Civic Si, here she is. Completely stock, I thought I'd make this video before I really do lots of mods, because I can do one with mods, one without. And keep in mind when I say things I hate, it is about this, about my car. It doesn't necessarily apply to every single Si, but my car. So I guess the one thing that is technically modded is I did do a JDM emblem install on my channel if you want to check that out. It'll be on my channel, but here she is. So one thing I really don't like about the Civic Si 8th generation specifically is they do have like a pretty bad paint issue um, where a lot of the paint coming from factory was really defected and it would basically, my car unfortunately uh, doesn't have it too bad but if you actually look on the hood you can see like lots of, there's lots of water spots too but I'm not sure if you can see that fully but there's actually lots of scratches around here like my car is covered in it because the, the paint is like starting to crack and look this really weird way. And so like right here, it has a, uh, what do you want to call it? It has a 3M film over this part. Right here is where they ended. And then instantly you can see uh, lots of cracks because you know, they just didn't have the really good paint quality in 2008. I had the same issue with my WRX. This one isn't quite as bad, but you see lots of people, and I'll flash a picture right now with their whole roof, just like sun sunburnt from the sun and this whole area will just be completely gone and you'll have to get that repainted or wrapped or something all right another thing i don't like about my car and just keep in mind a lot of these things i can fix in the aftermarket but this isn't about that the point of this video is is what things i don't like when it's stock so the other thing i don't like about my car is how dinky and tiny this shift knob is I, obviously you can just go buy a new shift knob but it's just hilarious that decided to put a tiny tiny little baby shift knob in this car it's a it's a pretty good shifter i've had no no real issues with it yet but it's just it's just crazy how you know how tiny tiny this shift knob is here's a comparison of a water bottle it's basically like you're you're driving a water bottle lid and bring it on to the gears and bring it on to the transmission another thing i do not like about this car is that this car has lots of transmission issues. I wouldn't say a lot, but this car has a, I think it's a third gear synchro issue that almost like, I'd say majority of SI's experience eventually, uh, where it'll, it'll like, all the synchros will be messed up, it grinds, it pops, it won't stay in gear. I think it's third gear and second gear. Fortunately, uh, my third gear isn't too bad yet, although I do notice it is not as smooth, it is not as nice as my other gears, so hopefully it doesn't go out too soon. Remember last time I said hopefully my car doesn't blow up and my debris blew up the next day? I got this car for a, a really good deal, so I mean, I can't complain. It's, it's running really good. Uh, no problems yet. But I, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I 
Another thing, I, and another thing I cannot stand, which can be fixed in the aftermarket, hopefully I get Honda out of soon, is the Honda Civic Rev Hang. Just a massive amount of revving! It obviously makes it seem like I'm really bad at shifting sometimes. You can't just have fun, and, you know, you really go through the gears. You you have to, the delay on this car is way, way bigger than any of the other cars I've had. And it takes some of the fun away, but I know you can fix that with Honda. But unfortunately in Canada here, it's, it's super, super expensive, like $800, $900. So hopefully I get it pretty soon. I don't I don't know when the timeline on will be on that. But the rev hang is just is just honestly atrocious. Don't wish that on anybody. Another thing I can I don't like about my car, which is more my fault, but this ooh look at that ooh ooh look at those kicks. But is the mash clutch cylinder. So a lot of the mash clutch cylinders here, if I can focus, um, they end up going or they need to be adjusted right from factory basically. And it's super, super annoying. I need to probably adjust mine. Uh, hopefully I don't need to replace it even though it's not too big of a deal. But it's, it's just super weird that Honda would put out a car's, in being Honda that has like issues like this. So Honda fixed their master clutch cylinder issue. I think they did fix it in 2010. Unfortunately this is a 2008 model. I don't know why I said 2009 earlier. Just had a brain fart. But yeah. But for real though, I do really love this car. It's probably one of the best cars I've ever had with the reliability, the gas, the fun to drive. It's honestly just a complete package at a really good price. I'd honestly recommend this car to any of my friends. I really enjoy this car. It's treated me really well so far. And I got it for a great deal. And honestly, all the issues that I did present in this video can be fixed in the aftermarket. Shut up! But yeah, all the, all the issues can be fixed in the aftermarket. You know, honestly, in my opinion, if you just put new coils, You've got some coils or long springs, you know, new wheels, Honda intake, and perhaps a quieter exhaust. This thing would be amazing. Obviously headers and stuff, but if you want to go cheaper route, the seats are amazing. Every, I love everything about this car so far. And honestly, besides those little things, I don't really have much bad. And honestly, besides those little things, I don't really have much bad stuff to say about this car. I had to think pretty hard when trying to find the five things I, I hated about this car. All right, and that's basically it. Thanks a lot for all the support lately. I really appreciate all of it. It means a lot to me. I noticed that the past couple of videos have been doing really well. And so I'm gonna try to make some more of those types of videos where I just kind of sit down and we discuss stuff. I really I really like reading back the comments, you know, having a discussion with you guys, and I really appreciate it all. And a little and a little something about me, I actually got a four month contract for a job here where my parents live. So I moved back home for the summer. And so hopefully I have a lot more free time not being in university where I could make lots of videos and hopefully maybe weekly and not monthly because I went monthly for a little while. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks a lot for all your support. Much appreciated. See you guys later.